Uh, welcome back to the seventh and final part of Sonic Generations. <laughs> Yay, he landed. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they didn't get to do one more last fist bump. Oh heck. Oh no, it's the oh. It's really oh, weird hi lyric. It's the mega death egg robot. It's the fuckopolis. <laughs> it's the fuckopolis. <laughs> you mean you mean fuckopolis? <laughs> no. Shadow, Metal Sonic, Zavik, Kim. No, it's for Oh. What have you done? Nothing. That line delivery is so uh, over the top. Uh, there's a really bad one coming up from Sonic in a bit. I got I think it's got to be voice direction, but it is so bad. Yeah. Oh, is, is, it, is it the one after you win? It, no, the one about how you failed so badly. Yes, yeah, that is. What the <laughs> fuck? That's from a, like a different franchise. That's so bad. I don't look like a death That's egg robot yeah. to me. I always say it. I love that Eggman had the forethought to put a speaker somewhere so everyone could hear him. <laughs> but isn't this the last time we hear from Eggman this entire game? Oh, here we are. That's such a bad line. Yeah, that's, that sounded like Barry B. Benson, didn't it? I don't uh, need to do any an Empire Fortress. Oh man, if there was a stage thirty one, I bet I'd save the day. <laughs> <laughs> so this line delivery from uh Root has a line coming up, which I always thought makes no sense in context of what this boss actually is. Which she says like no no normal no normal weapons will defeat this thing. But we uh, no regular tool can damage it. We are literally about to defeat this thing with rocks and flamethrower and running fast into it. <laughs> this is so fucking like, stupid, it's volleyball. This this <laughs> boss is so nah, fucking dumb. No tools can destroy it. Well here's a rock. Oh, oh. Well, he, it's weak because he's overclocking the Phantom Ruby. Oh that's why. Is this and it's like it's like maybe Eggman, if you stop throwing rocks. Wait, at isn't us, this one of Silver? Isn't you? this one of Silver's fights in 06? like the last one? No, D D David, this fight is literally the Egg Dragoon. The Egg Dragoon. Uh, oh, or it's also like the Green Hill Zone boss that we fought earlier with classics. That's the yeah, Egg Dragoon. That's what he was talking. Oh, about. Oh, that is Egg Dragoon. But yeah. wait, hold on a second. That was just Green Hill Zone. <laughs> it's just Green Hill Zone. I don't understand. Yeah, I think I think Lewis from Brain Scratch mm -hmm. made me first realize that aside from Zavok's fights, every other boss fight is just to set up for this. Oh, because uh -huh. like you know the, the the lyric fights are um, you know reused for Metal Sonic and for the final uh -huh. part. Well, you know I, I guess I guess Zavok and um, and the the second Infinite fight when you fight him as as the Avatar. Those are the only two like original boss fights that don't come back. Because I had no idea you could, you could hit him so close like that. Yeah. Nice work. Good, good job. Wow. Proud of you. Thank, proud of you, thank you. I did it for you. So is is that? NBA be so proud. Is that the window from Return of the Jedi in the Empire's throne yes. room? Is that the window from Return of the Jedi? Yeah, I think that's. <laughs> I don't know. I just really wish there were some lines from Eggman because it feels so awkward. He well, he's he's he had a peanut butter sandwich in between, and he's just his, like his oh. mouth's all gloppy. Yeah, he's like, I can't talk right now. <laughs> Yeah, and he washed it down with a big glass of peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I've been there. You, watch, you were supposed Pe to give me milk, not more peanut butter. Ugh. So then, with how the music cuts out here, I don't know. This gets a little creepy for oh. Sonic game. I love this image though. It's just like it's Eggman's giving birth to himself. Yeah, uh, what? what the what? fuck is this? Uh, something's prolapsing, and uh, it's not fun. <laughs> oh god, you had to attach that word to it. <laughs> And now we're in Eggman's Coney Island Disco Palace. It's the oh, the Nega yeah, Chris, Farmer. Yeah, Chris, oh. I remember. So be before, before I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the coin fan under the bus here for a moment. Uh -oh. So before before gift bump, you know, I made a big thing where like, I was gonna go into the, into the game blind. Literally two days before it, Chris texts me. He's been like, the fucking final boss is just a sort of colors boss. I, I made sure. Fuck? I'm like, do you want to hear and about the final like, boss? And you're like, yeah, I don't care. And I freaked out. Let me go back. Let me let me go back and see what I said because I'm pretty sure. You, you were just like, fucking boss, just ripped off again. Oh. I could not believe it. I still cannot believe it. It's so stupid. I can, but I don't want to. 
Chris, everything else in this game is stolen. Why does why did you not realize <sighs> this would be? I don't know. I want to have. I want to believe in no, them. No, Chris. Chris, you literally just texted me out of the blue and said, "Gareth, they rip off Colors Final Boss again." I'm coming to implode. <laughs> <laughs> There was, there was no like. Do you want to hear this? You just fucking texted me a spoiler. Thank you for that. Maybe yes, I meant I to and didn't. Uh, <laughs> it's funny because I, I don't remember colors as uh, final boss. You love. died. You did die. Isn't it possible? This is a really hard game, Stefan. Okay. You are playing He's on hard. Playing mode. on hard mode. Yeah, it is hard mode. <laughs> Shut up, Stefan. I said it first. So is this boss better or worse than uh, Generations Final Boss? Better. Oh, no, better. Nothing is as bad as Time Eater. But uh, yeah, that's what's. Time Eater is, is Time Eater is a terrible fucking yeah. boss. I still. Uh, uh, Final boss of Secret Rings is still the absolute worst. Oh, yeah. Nothing will beat. Nothing will beat <laughs> no, no Waggle argument. Fest. No argument here, my friend. Beat off to beat. What's that guy's name again? Um, oh Shante. no! Oh no! Ra Razor Jin. Yeah, Shantae. Oh yeah, that's that's my favorite Sonic. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, um, what an okay music track. How many hits does this thing take? Yeah, it's not it's not that good. Like it's not that good of a track. How many hits it's is okay. this? Unlimited um, colors. Seven. A few. It's not fucking eight, David. That's... Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, oh, they're no, gonna have a fly? three uh, fight. A, th a three. I think I have a three-way boost. Oh, now that's oh, yeah. even sexier. <laughs> oh, that, that, that fire effect looks like the, the the effect of them boosting and that fire looked like Aqua it was ripped from Sonic Rush. That looks like it's from it looks Aqua so Teen Also, also that, 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 was, that was the ending of, of Perfect Dark Gaia. Boosting is forbidding. B -b boosting is forbidding. Are we fucking done? No. We look are. This no! Thing. Look at all this cutscenes. This supposed to bookend a Sonic chapter and everything from there would be new and original. No. Asuka said that at some point. No. Well, I mean, this but then, is but then they saw how much at, money it got. Look at all those original characters. Don't steal. <laughs> oh, look, Knuckles. Thanks, Knuckles. And there's the Chaotix, and Team Dark, and Silver Eye for some reason. Team Rose. Oh, man. I can't see a damn thing! <laughs> <laughs> we have the same eyes! Oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. It is. It is. It's weird how for a game that lets you go like create anything you fucking want, they pick the blandest Whoa. character designs for their army. Uh. Yeah. I, I hope I never see any of you again. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I'm dying. I'm dying now. <laughs> One more last to go bomb? now. His dimension see, needs him. Oh uh, no! I uh, know. I was. I was. I was hey. wrong. Uh, I get, I get, oh, oh, Sonic. No, if only we could find a way to see Sonic again, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never see Sonic again. Oh, hey, Sonic, what's up? He's not even looking at Sonic. He's looking past him? I love this moment here, because, again, Sonic's like, we have we have to clean up the world. But then in the cutscene after the credits, he's like, yeah, I left. I'm going to go do yep. some other shit over there now. <laughs> also, what a hero's fucking cutscene that is. God damn. What, what are they posing for? Well, they were... The camera. Yeah. So there it is, it. Sonic <gasps> Forces, oh. Steven's favorite thing that was ever created oh, by anyone. Oh god. It's a really good ending song, though. <laughs> Makes you feel emotion. You know, it does. The Forces does follow the the kind of uh, style of Unleashed, uh, Secret Rings, and to a certain extent, Black Knight, of having like a more kind of slow, like thought provoking song over the end credits. Oh, that. Uh, it's one of the Sonic songs that can pass for not being a Sonic song. Yeah, pretty to much. whatever end. So, Stephen, after watching this, do you what? does it make you like? Do, after watching this LP, does it make you respect slash tolerate mania more? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Is that <a> yes? Sure. <laughs> a self-hating, regretful sure. <laughs> the disdain in Stephen's voice when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> but Yuji Yukawa is a Sonic character supervisor. So it's just like saying, hey, here's a here's a flower that is poisonous to you. Also, here's a <laughs> here's here's dog shit. Does this make you respect the flower it's that's the poisonous engine. to you more? Uh, no, it makes me the the, the, uh, the the dog shit makes me respect the flower more, yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck is Sega Shanghai? 
classic Sega Shammy kid. Oh, glad they found you. Freaking tricks. Oh, Gareth, because you, you mentioned it earlier about like the voice direction being so terribly terribly in this. I looked it up. This the voice director of this game did all the other games since Colors. Then what the fuck happened? And all the boom stuff too. So, everyone walked in hungover. Like this will be an easy one. Yeah, everyone walked in hungover. Well, <laughs> it, it, you know, it's it's weird. It's weird that they they credit Mars Planet, but aside nothing in the game uses uses um the Mars Planet pre rendered stuff. Nothing aside from some game. of the trailers, the, but the, the trailers weren't in the game. Nope, it's it was the same with Generations. For some reason, they they don't they don't use Mars Planet in games anymore. That, aside from what they did they did in Lost World. No, in, in um, Generations, the intro was there. Oh yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. And, and also, yeah. and also, I guess the, the the four seconds of a clock spinning. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the first cutscene yep. was also <laughs> that, that counts. Was a good clock. That counts. <laughs> that was money well spent. <laughs> oh, I miss. God damn it! I miss Mars Planet so much. They're so good. They're well, so apparently, they're involved, they're, apparently, they're involved with the movie, which hopefully that's why they haven't been doing anything for the game. Hopefully, yes. Also, the movie will look good. You know, what was the most upsetting Mars Planet thing I've ever seen was fucking. What was that? It was. It was. It was. It was a. It was a. Oh, Captain Haddock. Yeah, Captain. Captain. Wait, Haddock. Harlock. I, uh, Harlock. Harlock. Style. Yes, Captain Harlock and uh, print, uh, pirate pirate thief princess. Did princess. it look good? No, it looked amazing, but the story was terrible. Yeah. It's just fucking. Mm. God damn it! You're. you're Fucking god damn it, Mars of Planet! You're so talented. Get, get some good management in there. Work well, for I mean, a different so company. Steven, for that, for that, did they, did they come up with? No. Like, did they produce the movie, or were, were they just hired to animate? I think they were just hired to make the visuals, and it's like you know, you okay. fucking, you, yeah, yeah, you did, you did your part. You did, you made the visuals look good. Why? Double basses. <laughs> why didn't you? The why didn't you look bass. at the script and just say no? Double just say bass. no. Just say no to the fucking script. Just say An no. animation company isn't gonna say no to a script. They need the money. They no. need the work. No, you say no to the bad stuff. Who was stink? Do you? <laughs> oh, I love. Oh, sorry, it's Danger Kids, not Danger Mouse. Danger Kids. Uh, right, Danger Mouse is. Whatever. <laughs> Danger Mouse. They say Do no you... to clients all the time, Stefan. Do you think that Ryan Reynolds will be the voice of Sonic in the new movie? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I okay, I'm gonna call it right now. Ryan Reynolds, Sonic the Hedgehog. Ryan Reynolds is playing Pikachu and Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, Studio I love that stage. Why wasn't it in this one? Oh, uh, well, that, that's what uh, Chemical Plant turned into. I will say I, ah, we. I'm, not sure if I, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in an earlier part, and I think it comes up now. But all the mm -hmm. uh, orchestral stuff by the London Philharmonic Orchestra is fucking amazing. Yeah, it's good. I love the orchestral stuff in this game. It's, un it's, it is, it's unfitting. It's probably it is probably the best orchestral stuff in a Sonic game. But it's unfitting. But yeah. Would you be okay with a, a Sonic game that is just orchestrated? Music? Yes. Um, if 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 they use an orchestra for everything, then yes. I think the biggest problem with games like this and Unleashed is they'll have orchestra for, for certain bits uh -huh. and they'll have the really bad synth for other bits. Mm -hmm. Like, pick one. If you want to do orchestra, fucking use the orchestra. And I will, I will give credit for this game in terms of production value. They use the orchestra more in this than I think they have for any other game. Mm -hmm. So, like, that that's good. But So that's uh, where all the I money went to. Pretty much, and like the, the London film, like, that's one of the most respected orchestras in, on the planet. So Sega they, obviously had to shut out some money. They did the, to use them, they did know? the, the Mario Galaxy soundtrack, I believe. They did. No, I, oh no, no that was Tokyo I, Philharmonic I, I, Orchestra. Yeah. Yeah. Did London, you say? Wars, did you right? say Tokyo? Yeah. Oh yeah, London has done a lot of Star Wars. Yeah, the London, the London Philharmonic Orchestra does all, all of the um, Star Wars music, and I think pretty much whenever John Williams. Composes an orchestra. He used. He uses that one. Well, I don't think he Evil. he used it for the Last Jedi, did he? Because he was just in I, California. I thought. I'm not sure. Maybe. I, I think. I know for the other ones, he, he typically uses. Yeah, I feel like because one. for some reason, me or maybe he. Yeah. He's getting old now. He's like he's he's like pushing ninety. Yeah. So yeah. I could I could see him not wanting to fly to England just for a day to compose yeah. some music. Do it over Skype. That's reliable. <laughs> <laughs> So this is uh this is everyone's favorite song for this uh, month. Sam Mullen, who took the picture of us sad in front of a Sega Sonic <laughs> Thank you so much. Like he, 
I know you weren't sad though, Chris, because you know who it was, so you, you bitched out and you didn't look sad when everyone else did. I had a I'm happy to be here kind of look. <laughs> but I made it cry. I fuck, but that, that, that was my that. job. Chris, have we have we have we told that story on an OP before? Uh, yeah, we have to have, yeah. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, basically we asked a Sega employee who no one but Chris knew worked at Sega to take a picture of us at Momocon looking sad in front of a Sega I slide. didn't realize it until after, to be fair. Oh. You realized it during because you were smiling in the photo. Yeah, you yeah, Chris. So you I was do. laughing at the situation. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, we're at the credits, we're at the end of this game, finally. Um, let's sound off. Let's start with, with Captain Angry, Steven. No! What are your, what are your final thoughts on forces? Fucking no! <laughs> no! So, no. If, if you had to rank all the Sonic games, where would this go on the list? It would go on the list if I haven't even played this, because I don't... It's fucking dumb. Okay, so is that below 06? <laughs> Of course it's below 06. It's not as... Just looking at the gameplay, I mean, nothing will ever be as bad as Secret Rings, but... Yeah, fuck this game. I would, I would rank, in terms of gameplay, I'd rank it like this. The gameplay in this is is, bro, is boring and and stiff, but it, it, you know, it controls better than 06 did. It's a, it's a better game than 06. It's just fucking boring as shit. Uh, I, you know, at least at least you can get it done and over with before 06. Yeah. Yep. You know, again, like in terms of in, if in terms of gameplay, if you as we as you figured out from the um, 06 LP, there's over an hour of of watching loading screens. This whole game you can complete in less than four hours. Yeah. Which is you know, so uh, Stefan, why don't you why don't you sum up your thoughts on forces? I thought it was okay. <laughs> Sure. Thanks, Thank Devin. you. So, David, no, wait, why don't you wait. set up your thoughts? Hold on. <laughs> I don't hate this game as much as everyone. It's just... It's I fine. thought it was okay. It's fine. You see, it was fucking right. I thought it was okay. I don't I don't hate things as much as you guys do. I hate parts of it. But the whole t whole experience, I'm just like, okay, that, that was a game. There were some moments I liked. There were some moments I hated. I've gone back and played some of the parts I like, and I'm like, this is fine. Like it's still it's at the bottom it's like near the bottom of the list but I don't hate I don't hate it. It's near the bottom David, of the list. But I don't... Or less, how do you feel about Sonic Colors? Oh, oh, Sonic <laughs> Color. Oh, uh, I I like the palettes in all the pretty amusement places. I didn't count, but that's probably ten. Yeah, I was. I. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A, Chris. Fucking A. No. <laughs> no. Oh, the credits are done. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, yeah, so David, thoughts on forces? Uh, well, I know I, I said a lot uh, during that uh, gift bump stream with you. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I, I let a lot of it out. I, I think uh, I, I'm not as, like, fiercely angry, but I, I still I can't look at this and go, oh, yeah, this is a great game. You know, there's... Like right now, they're all talking in silence. That's a little weird. <laughs> what was that? Oh, should I be quiet? <laughs> no, it's okay. fine. Um, I don't know. It just it doesn't quite like like I feel like 06 is a more entertaining game to play because there was a lot of ambition there, and it's broken in a way that you just want to see what happens next. And and with forces. It's never quite as broken as it should be where you go, I, I'm just playing this to be amused, and it's not as put together where you're like, oh man, this fits in with colors and generations. There's just a lot going on, but also nothing is happening at the same time. And I think that's really, you know, you, you, can, say, you can say anything you want about certain music tracks, about the story, the writing, the voice acting, Rouge being, well, hey look, she's still got some badunk, but... Like... And also <laughs> the fact that this game came out after Mania, because I'm not gonna lie, I love Mania, and this just this doesn't feel like yeah we're following up Mania with a return to form in 3D. It feels like we had to make a 3D game, and I I know that they can do better. <laughs> a 3D game is supposed to be 2D. I know they can do better, and I want to put Sonic Team at a, at a higher uh, level and. 
Yeah. But David, don't you David, don't you know Steven said Mania sucks, so you have to say it sucks. Oh right, I forgot every Sonic game is bad, in including the ones with Mario. See you later, buddy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh Chris, what did you sum up this game? Uh I don't know, it's nice to have another somewhat technically proficient Sonic game. Like, there's not a lot of glitches. We didn't really mention that, but it's... Chris, I was, I, was, I was really hoping you were going to just add the sound effect of a body <laughs> hitting the floor when when the avatar jumps off the screen. One second. And then did the... I, I think he's going back to fix that in post. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, but anyway, yeah. I don't know. Complete missed opportunity. It makes me sad thinking about it, so I try not to. That's pretty much it. Yeah, it's um, it's incredibly mediocre. It's 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 lazy and and shoddily put together in a lot of places. It's, again, it's not technically glitchy or buggy. It's just badly it's just badly designed. It's very lazy level design. A complete waste of a soundtrack. The story raises has decent concepts that the game does nothing with. Um, it's a pretty bad game. I wouldn't really recommend. This, this, I'm not sure who this game is for. Because it's not for newcomers, because it's so steeped into the lore of Sonic that a lot of things don't make any sense. Well, it's steeped into and the lore. It's, 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 such, it's such a bad retread of previous games. It's not even really for old fans. So, like, this game is literally for no one. It's steeped into the lore, but they do nothing with that lore. So, basically, anybody could come in and play it, and they have no they have no knowledge of, like, Green Hill, Chemical Plant, whatever. They're just like, oh, this is a thing. But it even get, it gets the lore wrong, too. It's like, what the fuck are you even doing? It's for nobody, just like Gary said, it's for no one. Mm. But we had, that was we, a downer note. Yeah, at least we had... <laughs> at least we had one more last fist bump at the end, so I think uh, all in all, uh, give it a 7 out of 10, right? <laughs> Best game ever, pretty much. 7 out of 10. <laughs> Rent, don't buy. It got a higher Can't percentage buy. than Unleashed did. God. That's depressing, bye. Go watch the Sonic 06 LP again, bye.